guys, what is up? And I welcome back to Astropic Gaming. And today I'll be doing some replays and then a one live attack. Hopefully I can win. I've been, I uh, did some attacks this morning. Uh, I lost. Sorry guys. Stop. Hold on. Hurry up. All right. Oh gosh. What happened? Cancel. All right. Sorry guys. Um, but I again I did um. A couple of battles this morning. As you can see, um, I'm pretty sure I won one, but I lost uh, the other one. And I am going to show you the replays from this morning. I'm not going to show you the one where I lost, but... Wait, did I lose to both of them? Oh, yeah, I lost to both of them. Um, but I'll show you guys this one. This was a pretty good one, I, in my opinion. It was, uh, I, I'm not going to tell you, but you'll find out. And check out my vlog that I just did. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what I said in it, so you guys can go check it out. But, yeah, go check that out. So, yeah, all right. So, he arrows. I started off with a pretty good push. I'm, I was hoping that I wouldn't hit my arrows, because as you guys know that, um, that when you uh, have like a troop and it's spawning and you want to like rush it, it doesn't always happen. So, cause it like it has to like do the timer and then it has to place it down. And right now I had right there I just had a pretty good push. I did a uh, goblin's knight dragon. He didn't know what to place. I saw that he was gonna place his giant skelly right there, but he knew that he did, that wouldn't work. So he placed his minion orb. And at this point in time, I know that I can um. Basically, just arrow the tower down. So I'm pushing on that lane. He has barbarians, and my hog's not gonna get a single hit off. But I need to drop off my um, uh, baby dragon. But since the barbarians split up, uh, my baby dragon only hit two of them. And the reason I placed my knight down there is because that pump is for the distraction of my ho of the hog. So he's gonna place it down right here, right there. And it splits up the goblins, which really sucked because it just sucks because the goblins are much better as three. And so I dropped my, down my minion horde. He has his minion horde going on the other side. The giant skelly will reach the tower with the bomb. Pretty big radius right there. And I currently I have both towers really low. Well, basically one tower down. Because I can just arrow. And my hog runs right through that barbarian. He has both of my towers um, down by like 800. And then he drops his hog off. Uh, I dropped my gums. Gums are a great counter for that. I knew that was coming. So I dropped my knight. I was hoping that it would focus on the hog. Which it did. So that was awesome. And he has a pretty strong push. He needs to cycle through to those arrows. But by the time he places those arrows... Um, uh, my, the giant skellies are down, and then I did a horrible placement with my hog, because basically, uh, the bomb hit it, and that was kind of a waste, but we still got the tower, so that was good, and thank gosh that he doesn't, well, he did have his free spell up, but currently I didn't know that he has his free spell, I think he should have used his free spell, and right there, I take that tower, i I wish that we had more time because I would have gotten the three crown. But he arrows, which was a great arrow because he got my goblins and minion horde, which made the made the horde look even bigger. And guys, I know when you see a bunch of small troops and you think it's intimi intimidating. Sorry guys with the screens twisting around, but and again, if you see the and if you see a bunch of small troops, um. Don't worry, just, if you have arrows, um, just arrow it. You're going to be fine after that. And so let's change that. And let's show you one more replay. Um, no, no, no. Let's go all the way down here. I already showed you that one. Um, all right, this one. This one is not with my golem deck, but it's another victory. And this is against Jones. I don't know who he is, but it was a really, really tight match. And I didn't know he had the hog or the poison, so I dropped it off in the back, which was a pretty big mistake because 
The he has the hog and the hog uh gets distracted by buildings and the Lex Pump is a building. And I think the poison spells radius should be lowered because it can like hit anything. And so I drop those off, then I drop my gobs on the other side. He currently doesn't have anything to distract it. He's just gonna zap, which isn't gonna do anything, and I take that tower on my push first push. That was a great push, guys. I um uh, I think that was well worth the damage on, my, on the other side because he didn't take the tower, which was good. And so he has that tower really low. I was hoping that I'd take out that Valkyrie, which we do. He drops off his Barbarians, but my baby dragon's going to do uh, a ton of damage to that. Only two Barbarians survive. Well, practically one. Then he drops off his um poison spell right here i don't know what he was thinking i don't know what i was thinking right there i don't know why i uh dropped down my uh, minion horde but currently uh he does not have the arrows but the zap and his poison are his main thing against his um my minion horde so i think he poisons down my um tower or i think he does like a big push and i can't defend it but so um uh, yeah, he places a giant in the back. I think he, yeah, he zaps my goblins. I get a pretty big push. I, I didn't know that he had the giant, which really sucked because I don't have any, which really sucked because I don't have any elixir at this time to defend this giant. And that wizard's going to melt anything that comes in his radius. Um, and uh, I fireball the t tower. I was hoping that I, that I would hit the... Um, wizard with it, but I unfortunately missed. Finally, the giant goes down, and this is looking pretty bad for me because he has my crown tower really low, but I have his crown tower lower than his, so it's not too bad. And then I fireball, I'm pretty sure, which was a uh, not a very good fireball, but I think I fireball down the tower. I don't know, but I think I do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And then he places his giant with the Valkyrie, two tanks. Uh, which is really, hard. it's pretty hard to defend. Then he places a hog, he throws me a curveball, and he places the hog on the other side, which I wouldn't have done, because it would make it, made it a way bigger push. And he gets really close to taking this tower, uh, my king tower, but I just place my hog, and it runs through barbarians, and so I think I take it here, yep, nope, nope, I thought that was game, but... I place my Lex Pump there so I can distract. I get my ho I get my minion whore down. He doesn't have his poison up, which my minion whore's gonna, my minion whore's gonna do work. He was gonna poison down my tower, but for the fireball for the wait, uh, no fireball for the win, no fireball for the win. Here we go, there we go, guys. Um, the hog gets in there. And that was a two crown victory for me. That was a pretty good match. Good, good game to Jones. Um, and make sure I have my deck selected. All right, I'm using my golem deck. Let's battle. Let's do this. All right. Um, this usually doesn't take this long to find an opponent. All right, there we go. Uh, uh on cure men. Uh, good, good luck. Good luck to you. Um, let's shove off our baby dragon in the back. He places his musketeer. Hmm, let's see what's he gonna drop. Let's go hog this. Oh gosh. That's not good. We both don't have any Alexa, I can tell right now. But that tower is done for sure. The hog's going to get up in there, do some work. I think I'm going to try to do this. Oh, that was a bad choice. All right, good. Okay, the wizard didn't get any hits off, so that was well worth um, it. And then, oh, gosh, I've got to get thingies down so the spear gobs don't do work because there's a level 9, and level 9 spear gobs are amazing. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it takes 5,000 coins to um crap. He pulled over the minion horde. Dang it. Alright, let's arrow those. Um, he has that coming in. I'm just gonna... I'm, I have to ignore the, ignore the musketeer. Because the hog would have done more damage to the king tower. And the king tower is more valuable than the side tower. Because I'm pretty sure I can take it. 
There goes my knight and my goblin, which my goblin is now taken out. He's going to wait for my knight, and there we go. My knight's going to get two hits off. I think he's going to drop his, um, yeah, spear gobs. That's what I thought. I'm going to drop my baby dragon off back there. I need to get my golem down. Um, let's drop that down. Let's get, kill that. All right, perfect. He was intending on, um, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, that was a waste of an arrow. All right, crap. Um, I don't have anything to soak up that damage. I'm just going to say, oops. Let's drop that off in the front. Oh, that was a bad choice. All right, let's drop that down. Get that down. Bang. Let's drop those down. Get that hog out of here. Let's drop those. Get that out of here. Oh, crap. That musketeer's going to do work. Let's drop those down. Then get those down. All right, we both have our towers really, really low. Mm. I'm going to do a split push. Here we go. Hog Rider for the win. Will he get in there and get a tower? Yes, he will. That's good stuff. Good stuff right there. All right, I think that's game there. Unless he has the rocket, which I'm pretty sure he doesn't. So let's place our golem to soak up any damage that he will be placing. And that is game right there, guys. Whew. All right. I thought that I was going to lose there. Good game to or or can men. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. It would seriously be appreciated. Comment down below on any of the content that you guys would like me to play. Um, and stay tuned for my uh, Florida vlog um, that I will be doing in Florida. Subscribe, it would seriously be appreciated. And like again, and like the video, it would seriously be appreciated as well. And stay tuned. Peace, guys.